Hello everyone, this is QO again. Today's lecture is training number 12. Before we start the training number 12, let's have a look at the characteristics of these two different coordinate systems. The first, Cartesian or rectangular coordinate system, which is the very familiar one, expresses as a x, y, z coordinate. Each axis is represented in the perpendicular and two axes form the measurement plane and another axis becomes a datum axis. And the second one, polar or cylindrical coordinate system. It is expressed as the perpendicular distance from the space axis R, a rotation angle from the main axis A, and the height from the standard plane H. So, in this training number 12, we're going to apply cylindrical coordinate system. So let's take a look at the main importance. Understanding the cylindrical coordinate system. So, let's take a look at the datums first. The datum A is here, which is the top surface of the part, the measure plane for leveling. And datum B, left surface of part for rotation. And then datum C is a PCD for translation. So we are going to apply the cylindrical coordinate system for those three circles of PCD and the sphere in the center of the front surface. The first circle's angle. So as you can see, the first one is 45 degrees and the second one 135 degrees. And the third one, 225 degrees. As you can see, the arrow's direction for dimensions is anti-clockwise. And it starts from the this axis, which is the uh, positive x axis. And the center of the sphere's dimension is also starting from the same axis. But the arrow's direction is the opposite which is the clockwise and then look at the right side of the drawing which indicates as also the center of the sphere but in this dimension it's starting from different axes and also different working plane as well the default working plane is an xy plane but you're gonna have to switch it to yz working plane to evaluate this dimension and also switch the uh, starting axis and change it to the uh, anti-clockwise direction as well. Let's take a look at the practice. First, measure datum A as a plane for leveling. The measure datum B as a line for rotation. And then for the datum C, measure three circles to create a PCD and then translation. So hide the unnecessary values. And 
and then recall circle number one, two, and three. And then change the attribute to the cylindrical coordinate system, which also stands as a polar as well. Now you can see it's changed to as a R, A, and H. So we only need to see the angles value for it. So to change the uh, attribute all together at the same time, which only applies for the same feature. So while this result window is open, select all the other circles that you want to change the attribute and right click this area. Then click change output attributes. And the result option window will pop up. You can check the items that you want to change all together. So in this case, I'm going to just check the change output attribute and click OK. So now all the circles are changed as a polar coordinate system. And let's input nominal values. So after that, change the probe position to A90s and B180 degrees to measure the sphere. So open the result of the sphere and then input nominal but the direction is the other way. So double click the A X Y. Then you can change the rotation direction. So change it to clockwise. Click OK and then you can see the actual value that you want. And input nominal. And let's change the walking plane to YZ from XY plane. So alignment set walking plane. After change the working plane and recall the feature. You see it's changed to a y z so double click the icon and then change it to dcw and also change it to base axis to negative y now you can see the result is changed and input nominal value So that's it for the training number 12 and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.